Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-682. Item Number, SCP-682 Object Class, Keter Special Containment Procedures, SCP-682 must be destroyed as soon as possible. At this time, no means available to SCP teams are capable of destroying SCP-682 only able to cause massive physical damage. SCP-682 should be contained within a 5 meters by 5 meters by 5 meters chamber with 25 centimeters reinforced acid resistant steel plate lining all inside surfaces. The containment chamber should be filled with hydrochloric acid until SCP-682 is submerged and incapacitated. Any attempts of SCP-682 to move, speak, or breach containment should be reacted to quickly and with full forces called for by the circumstances. Personnel are forbidden to speak to SCP-682, for fear of provoking a rage state. All unauthorized personnel attempting to communicate to SCP-682 will be restrained and removed by force. Due to its frequent attempts at containment breach, difficulty of containment and incapacitation, and high threat of foundation exposure, SCP-682 is to be contained in sight, redacted. The Foundation will use the best of its resources to maintain all land within 50 kilometers clear of human development. Description SCP-682 is a large, vaguely reptile-like creature of unknown origin. It appears to be extremely intelligent, and was observed to engage in complex communication with SCP-079 during their limited time of exposure. SCP-682 appears to have a hatred of all life, which has been expressed in several interviews during containment. See Addendum 682-B. SCP-682 has always been observed to have extremely high strength, speed, and reflexes, though exact levels vary with its form. SCP-682 and APOS, S physical body grows and changes very quickly, growing or decreasing in size as it consumes or sheds material. SCP-682 gains energy from anything it ingests, organic or inorganic. Digestion seems to be aided by a set of filtering gills inside of SCP-682 and APOS, S nostrils, which are able to remove usable matter from any liquid solution, enabling it to constantly regenerate from the acid it is contained in. SCP-682 and APOS, S regenerative capabilities and resilience are staggering and SCP-682 has been seen moving and speaking with its body 87% destroyed or rotted. In case of containment breach, SCP-682 is to be tracked and recaptured by all available mobile task forces, and no teams with fewer than 7 members are cleared to engage it. To date, dash eight, dash eight. attempted breaches have numbered at 17, while successful breaches have numbered at 6. See Addendum 682-D. Addendum 682-B, portion of recorded transcript of A. Begin log, skip to OOH 21 minutes 52 seconds. Now, why did you kill those farmers? No verbal communication. If you don and Apos, T-talk now, we will remove you from this attempt and place you back into. Incomprehensible. Pardon? Motions to move microphone closer. Incomprehensible. Speak up. To personnel D085, move the mic up closer. They were incomprehensible. To personnel D085, that microphone has only so much gain, move it closer to it. His throat and Apos, S messed up man, look at it. He Ain and Apos, T talking. Gasps and screams. Appearing to assault the 085 and Apos, S body, they were. Disgusting. Retreats from the room. End log. Addendum 682-D, breaches with SCP-682. 1. First occurrence. Dash A. Dash A. Handled by Agent A. Agent A. Agent A. KIA, Personnel D-129, KIA, 
Personnel D-027, KIA, Personnel D-173, KIA, Personnel D-200, KIA, Personnel D-193, KIA. 2. Second Occurrence Dash A Dash A Handled by Agent A Agent A Dr. A Personnel D-124 Personnel D-137 KIA Personnel D-201 KIA Personnel D-202 KIA Personnel D-203 KIA 3. Third Occurrence Dash A Dash A Handled by Agent A MSGTA Agent A Agent A KIA Personnel D018 KIA Personnel D211 KIA Personnel D216 4 Fourth Occurrence Dash Dash A Handled by Agent A Staff Sergeant A Technical Sergeant A Private A Private A Lieutenant A Staff Sergeant A KIA Call A KIA Private A KIA Private A KIA Agent A KIA 5 Fifth Occurrence Dash A Dash A Handled by Personnel D-221 Agent A KIA Agent A KIA Agent A KIA Personnel D-028 KIA Personnel D-111 KIA Personnel D-281 KIA Personnel D-209 KIA 6 Sixth Occurrence Dash A Dash A Handled by Agent A Agent A Personnel D-291 MIA Agent A KIA Agent A KIA Personnel D-299 KIA Personnel D-277 KIA Personnel D-278 KIA Personnel D-279 KIA Addendum 682-E Termination Options Log of Event 682-E18 Dr. A Attempts to use SCP-409 on SCP-682 General A General A And Dr. A Observing 0400 Exposure SCP-682 began to tear at the point of contact, causing massive trauma to the area. SCP-682 requests several times to know what it has been exposed to. 0800. Crystallization begins fretting much slower than normal. 1200. SCP-682 shows signs of extreme pain, and begins having seizures. 1300. Crystallization stops at 62% conversion. Crystallized area explodes, causing massive physical trauma to SCP-682. 1400, SCP-682 recovers from exposure, despite the loss of limbs and organs. SCP-682 begins regeneration, stating that it will attempt to kill and consume all staff involved in event 682-E18. SCP-682 appears to now be immune to SCP-409. Use of other SCP items to terminate SCP-682 must now first be tested on samples of SCP-682 before full-scale testing. In accordance with Dr. A. and APOS, S. Recommendations, see Document 27B6, Dr. A. and Dr. A. have requested permission to attempt the termination of SCP-682 using SCP-689. The request is currently pending approval from the A. It has also been suggested by Dr. Gears to use SCP-182 in an attempt to communicate with SCP-682. SCP-182 has expressed reluctance, and refuses to enter the containment center of SCP-682, if at all possible. Due to the length of Addendum 682-F, Termination Log we will cover it in a future broadcast. Thank you for tuning in, we hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations. And